it's Amy D with Amy D Coaching and today we're going to talk about dealing with tenants when you're selling a property that has renters in it and the renters aren't cooperating. So first and foremost is to be aware of your local landlord tenant laws. You do not have a right, there's nowhere in the country that you have a right to just start showing the property um, with, like, with very little notice. So almost everywhere in the country, a simple 24 hour notice in writing gives the landlord the right to enter, whether it's to show the property or for any other reason. Now, if you've got renters who really aren't happy about the fact that you're selling the property, they can make it very difficult. As a landlord, you do not have a right to ask the tenants to leave. So generally when we're selling a home, the homeowner leaves the property and the potential buyers can be in the home by themselves essentially, you know, privately in the home to tour it and to imagine themselves moving in. You cannot require a renter to leave. You can give notice and they have to allow you to enter, but that's two different things. Um, you can't require them to clean up or put their dishes away or make their bed or do any of those things. So some things that you can do to make the situation friendlier. First of all, go have a friendly face-to-face -face conversation with them about what's going on. Um, if the property is being sold, if it's being sold as a residence and they're on month to month and the intention is whoever buys it may be moving into it, then it's understandable that they're not gonna be thrilled about it but make sure that they understand that you know the local laws, that they'd be given appropriate notice. And some places it's still simple 30 day notice, other places it's 60 or even 90 days in some municipalities. Um, if the renter's on a lease anywhere in the country, the lease supersedes the sale. That lease encumbers the title. So if their lease doesn't expire for another six to eight or nine months, then even if the property is sold, the new buyer needs to honor that. Um, so making sure that the renter knows that, you know, look, you're not gonna just be dumped out on the street. Making sure that they're um, kept informed is sometimes just quells some of the fear that's involved. And then a nice little gift, like maybe if you wanna have an open house and you want them to leave, you can't require them to leave, but you can buy gift certificates to say, the local movie theater and invite them to go see a movie while you have the open house you know you can you can do things like that if they don't want to clean up you can hire a cleaning service as a gift not with the implication that they're slobs but just hey as a nice gift we want to you know have the carpet shampooed we're gonna have a cleaning person come in on the first of the month before we put the house on the market and you know if you're in an area where homes stay on the market for a while maybe you do that on the first of every month for them and tell them and you know it would also be great if before showings you know if you could put the dishes away and stuff like that and so just have a conversation with them most people are much friendlier especially face to face um i would say if the situation is contentious avoid email and text message. It's very easy for things to escalate and become aggressive when there's uh, a lack of a personal connection. So if it's not, if you're, if you're not able to go see them face to face, then certainly over the phone. Haven't you guys noticed that? That usually when you pick up the phone and talk to someone, they're so much friendlier and more reasonable. So use all the tools and resources to negotiate the situation as best as possible and kind of guide your client to do the same. And at the end of the day, um, some renters just aren't going to be agreeable. And in that case, the owner might elect to evict them first and then put the home on the market. Another great idea is there's a lot of um, technology. You know, we've got 3D tours and virtual reality where you can just go through once and you know get the the virtual reality um 3d tour of the property and then list the home and say you know showings are subject to um you know or you write the offer subject to interior inspection so there's a lot of different ways around it best of luck um hope that helps